Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your girl Latoya J. Um, it's been a minute, but I do have a question. Uh, did I mention this is the Christian Ask Wendy? Um, the question that I have today is, what's the point of being married if your spouse is going to go against you more than they stand with you? And this question comes from Jan Quell Frazier. Uh, this is a tough one. However, I will start off my answer with a story, not a story, but a principle I learned when I was working um, for Cutco Knives Company. The principle that I learned is you have to use the right tool for the right job. If you try to open up a can with a pair of scissors, it is going to take much longer and it will be much harder than if you got a can opener. I say that to say this. Marriage, when two people into marriage, you're supposed to both have a basic understanding of what's going on and what's supposed to be happening. And the primary thing that it should be built on is agreement. Bible says, how can two walk together except they be agreed? There is no way that you can say that you're ready for marriage and marry someone whom you don't agree with. Okay, yeah, Toya, we, don't, we won't agree on everything, right? But the foundation of your marriage, you should be in complete and total agreement on. Um... You have to be on one accord in your marriage. It sounds like to me, like whoever is married and is going through this situation, obviously um, didn't enter into the marriage with that understanding. So, that takes me back to my principle. You may be working on a can with a pair of scissors as opposed to a can opener. What I'm saying to you is, is it's going to take a lot of hard work um, to continue staying married to that person. I will not tell you that it's pointless to be married to that person, but I will tell you that love is patient, love is kind, it endures all things, it believes all things, it hopes all things, it endures all things. It never fails. I know I skipped a few events, if not itself. It does not keep a record of wrongs. Um, so if you really love this person that you married and they are not on one accord with you, the only thing you can do is pray and wait. People come to maturity at their own times in life, especially men, um, especially when it comes to family life. You can't raise a man. Right? Right. So being angry with him or being cold with him is not going to work. It's going to push him further away. But if he is the man that you believe you're supposed to be with and he's going astray, your job is to pray. You can't force him. You can't make him. But you got to remember what made you commit to him in the first place. We can't well, in today's world, it's crazy. You can divorce your children, but I say that to say you can't divorce your family. You get what you get. And we tend when we, ch we tend to make an exception to that rules when we choose our spouses. When we choose our spouses, they become our family. So you can't give up on your family. Um, I think that's all I'll say for now. Pregnancy brain has my brain on lock. So I'm talking so slow. <laughs> but anyway, I hope this helps. There are many different things that you can do to um, work on this can that you have with your pair of scissors. But you must be up for the challenge. You must know that you grab that can without a can opener. And you grabbed it with scissors. So since you chose that, even though it's hard and it's going to be difficult, it can be done. The point is love. 
That's the point of being married. If your spouse is going to go against you more than they stand with you. Love brings them back. So, hope that helped. And um, for those of you watching, you can follow me on Twitter at LatoyaJ underscore I am. On Instagram at I am Latoya J. My Facebook Ask Latoya J vlog page. And subscribe to my YouTube channel, I am Latoya J. We got about 17 more videos, various topics. Pick one, watch one, share one. Love you. Bye.